My name is Cristina Sarblázquez and I'm going to present promoting sustainability and energy efficiency in higher education through the optimized management of your thermal resource. In this presentation, we are going to see an introduction section, the academic context, the methodology, some activity outputs and the final conclusions. Let's start with the first section. The energy sector has undergone a deep change towards a more sustainable model. In this sense, the UNED strategy promotes measures towards sustainability in all education levels. University students, especially those of engineering degrees, must be up to date with the latest advances in renewable energy systems. In this context, geothermal energy is expected to play an essential role in the future decarbonization. From all the above, this research has been focused on providing the optimal methodology for designing a sound geothermal system. This methodology derives from a deep research of the author in the field and is being implemented in the teaching of the mining, energy and industrial bachelors of certain public Hispanic universities. Section 2, the academic context. The methodology here presented is read for the course titled Energy Saving and Efficiency, which is part of the Electrical Engineer Bachelor of the University of Leon. All these basic specific transversal competencies are regulated by the Order SIN 351 from the year 2009. Within the methodology section, we can say that one of the learning objectives of the course is the correct design of a low enthalpy geothermal system in which the thermal conductivity of the ground is fundamental. Since quantification is complex, we have proposed the following workflow. We will start by the identification of the area in which we will try to search for available resources in regarding the geological formation of the area and the thermal characterization of the different formation. Then we will try to correlate all this information into a energy management in which we will finally have the ground thermal behavior for designing the geothermal system in a specific software. Based on the importance of the ground thermal conductivity in the geothermal design and the difficult of tension, this activity proposes estimation in a simple and accessible way for a student. The fundamental principle is the initial evaluation of the study area. In this case, we will be focused on the Spanish community of Castilla and Leon, for which we will consult the geological information of the IDECIL website. With this information and Contrasted by the Magna Cartographic series, we will treat the geological formation under a geographic information system. Then we will process all the geological data and, and assign an estimated value of thermal conductivity through official databases of by its measuring in laboratory. Finally, we will have the thermal conductivity map of the area. As activity outputs, we can see that we first will have the geological evaluation, in this case for the selected area of Salamanca in Castilla y León. So it's possible to obtain in detail the geological formation of the location to evaluate in depth the composition of the underground. The second output will be the ground thermal characterization, in which we will have the predominant geology and the thermal conductivity of the area. The third step will be the geothermal design in which we will use open source software, in this case GSCAL, and for the activity in the example here proposed we will have the information that you can see on the screen. Finally, as conclusion of this work, we can say that the methodology here presented is supported by free resource to favor the autonomous student learning that it will have an important impact on the correct use and expansion of geothermal energy systems and it will contribute to the improvement of the student competencies in thermal analysis, GIS application and energy design. Finally, we will, 
want to mention that future works will focus on experimental education research to obtain performance indicators at the student perspective. And as part of new content, we will try to include the implementation of novel geophysical approaches for quantifying the thermal properties of the underground. Thanks for your attention.